Welcome back. Our electrical grids are undergoing a fundamental shift in the way they operate. The top-down, centralized delivery model is fast approaching its use-by date. But how do the companies that have managed these essential national assets respond to the rapidly evolving demands of their customers and regulators? Can grid operators meet the biggest challenge that they've ever faced? And where are the opportunities for investors such as myself to provide solutions? To discuss this and more is Jan Palasinski from Future Energy Ventures, part of the grid operator Eon Germany. Thanks for being here, Jan. In simple terms, what is it that grid operators want? Their target is to have their customers happy with uh, energy flowing all the time and uh, policymakers happy with the uh, energy that is reliable, cheap, and possibly as green as possible. You make this sound so simple, Yan. I look forward to finding out how this can be achieved. More from Yan in a moment. But first, we're going to hear from the largest utility provider in the world, China State Grid. Arthur Hu, the investment director at their Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship, has prepared a short statement on some of China State Grid's priorities. So China has uh, pledged to peak carbon emissions before 2030 and a strive to achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. By 2030, China's wind and the solar power generation capacity will reach 1.2 billion kilowatts. The company will spend an uh, average of more than uh, $70 billion each year to upgrade the energy internet. So here, energy internet is a smart energy system based on a strong smart grid and will continue to promote the transition to cleaner and the low carbon energy system. Thank you, Arthur. There are two things that really jumped out there for me, Yan. The huge increase in renewables and the need for digital solutions. Why are these such important factors in the evolution of grid operation? In the past, there were few big assets, so it was manageable. Now that there are thousands, millions of small assets, uh, humans just cannot cope with this. And uh, now that uh, uh, renewables are picking up and the world is becoming more and more decentralized, uh, there is a clear need for digitalization. We are looking at how to improve the existing grid uh, because the alternative is to build more and more of this grid, uh, which is expensive and not really environmental friendly. And uh, it's obvious that grid operators have to become uh, among the most innovative companies in the world uh, compared to the past where that didn't really matter too much. Are they poised to do that? I mean, it feels like these are really big old companies that you're now asking to become nimble and very innovative. Is that possible? Of course it's possible. Of course it's possible. I'm seeing really here at Aeon. They are really uh, wishing to uh, become innovative. They are running, uh, uh, for example, startup challenges uh, uh, since three, four years, uh, uh, defining a specific problem they are seeking solutions for. They call for startup ideas, the startups pitch. They select some of them to run a pilot with Aeon and then uh, with the best ones, they uh, make a full rollout. So uh, it's, it's really happening. That's a great approach from a large company and a fantastic opportunity for startups. What solutions have you seen that are really making a difference to the way Eon is working? One example is actually a, a company called uh, Invelio. They have built uh, a software system that uh, creates a, a digital twin of, uh, of the grid. This makes it possible for the distribution system operators to really gain this transparency in a week's time uh, rather than uh, going point to point of the grid and uh, annotate uh, what, what is where, adding sensors here and there. So it's a very quick way to understand uh, where the connection points are, for example, for new renewables, uh, rather than having a very skilled, trained human look into a map, uh, do the calculations and see whether that is possible, which typically could take one or two weeks. Uh, so Envelio provided this digital solution that was so outstanding that uh, Aeon uh, has even acquired it. Uh, and. Uh, not only the grid operator benefits, but also the renewable energy producers who now can go and uh, install their assets uh, much quicker. As you said, Yan, innovation is still possible in these large companies, even when it's a new part of their corporate culture. Thanks for speaking with me today.
Grid operators are the guardians of one of the most essential resources for modern living. But the introduction of new technologies such as EVs and the urgent need to decarbonize is putting them under pressure to innovate like never before. The good news is that it's possible and they're willing to try. But where do the solutions come from? Can plucky little startups get the access and funding they need to revolutionize the grid sector? I'll be speaking with two venture investors to find out where the smart money is going. Next time, only on Climatic.